one of the best TTS text to speech model and also voice cloning model just dropped. I failed them all. They're all dead. Nothing we can do will ever bring them back. How can I ever live with myself again? How? Are you asking if I can hum a tune? Of course I can. La 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 la. See? This is a new model from a company called Boson. And the model is called Higgs. Obviously reference to Higgs Boson. This new model is quite stunning in terms of the emotions that it can deliver in text to speech. But also when I tested with voice cloning, it kind of made me feel that this model has something in it. So Higgs Audio V2 is coming from a company called Boson AI. And this is a new model that has been pre-trained over 10 million hours of audio data and a diverse, a rich set of text data. Surprisingly, they've mentioned that there is no post training or fine tuning happening in the model. Recently, we've been seeing models with the post training, even with text to speech models, but this model is like probably only the pre training aspect. So the model on a particular benchmark called emergence TTS evil, the model has scored 75% win rate and 55% win rate over GPT 40 mini TTS. So this is being a smaller model. They've compared it with GPT 40 mini TTS, which is like one of the most popular TTS models that a lot of open AI based developers use on the categories called emotions and questions. So on these two categories, this model has scored really well. I think the model's primary success here in this case is how good it is in terms of emotions, how good it can deliver emotions. Also, the other thing that the model can do is the model has got a good prosody adaption. So whatever you talk in the style of the style that you speak, the model can adapt and I'll show you a demo of how I feel maybe it is adapted uh, my style pretty well. Humming, it can also capture the background uh, audio music and all those things. So that also means when you give a voice cloning clip, you have to be extremely careful about what you give. But also the other side of the thing is like it can capture a lot of things which you know other models wouldn't have captured. You can see the benchmarks here. This model scores 75% win rate when you compare it with uh, the GPT-40 mini TTS as a base model and uh, even 11 Labs' latest model, 11 Lab V2, multi multilingual v2 has not scored that much even on other benchmarks like ctts eval and esd uh, that is a measurement for emotion the model has scored really well so you can see w year going down so w year stands for word error rate the lower the error rate is better so you can see this model 11 laps is still the king here but this model is 2.18 when you compare it with you know something like when 2.5 omni and also in terms of the emotions this model is doing a pretty good job 1.49 which is lesser than 11 laps. So overall, this model seems to be a good candidate, but we are going to test the model and see how the model performs in real time. So there are like different ways you can prompt the model. So there is voice cloning mode and then there are like other modes. But first I want to show you the voice cloning mode. I'll show you my reference clip, what I'm using as a reference clip here. And then we'll see how the model has done the voice cloning. So this is the reference clip I've used. Like Leela zero and AlphaGo zero, early iterations of Leela chess zero started with no intrinsic chess specific knowledge other than the basic rules of the game. It learned how to play chess through reinforcement. I think you would have got an idea about what the reference clip is and you have to add the reference clips text. So it's easier if you go to some page and just read it and then record it and then use it as a reference clip so that you can have the text as well, the audio clip for you. So I, this is the input text that I've given. So if I'm reading this input text in a very normal voice, like let's say I'm not recording a video, this is how I would read. We are open sourcing Higgs Audio V2. Maybe um, we are open sourcing Higgs Audio V2, a powerful audio foundation model pre-trained on over 10 million hours of audio data. Now let's see what the model has done. We are open sourcing Higgs Audio V2, a powerful audio foundation model digitally chased on over 10 million hours of audio data and a day first set of text data. Despite having no post training or fine tuning, Higgs Audio V excels in expressive audio generation. The model has done a pretty good job of capturing my voice. I would give it to the model. The model also takes the right amount of pauses that I would typically take uh, as I've given in the reference audio. But what I feel is that the model has not captured the my style of Indian accent pretty well. It almost feels like a Malaysian is speaking here rather than an Indian. I, that's just an observation here. But I think the model has done a very good job here of capturing my voice, my pace, the prosody and all those kind of things. This is how you do voice cloning. If you want to do voice cloning, you have got their demo running on uh, Hugging Face Zero. So I link it in the YouTube description for you to practice. You can click this, select the voice clone, whatever text you want to give, you can give here. 
and then you know it doesn't matter what the voice preset is and then you can add your reference audio and then the transcript text of the reference audio once the clip is update uploaded then you can click generate speech and then you will have the generated speech for you now i'm going to show you something called a single speaker voice description let's say single speaker voice description so we have a couple of examples here so one is like this is like the special token that would indicate what is the start so this is the system prompt you can see this is speaker zero's profile he speaks with a clear british accent and a conversational inquisitive one his delivery is articulate at a modern pace very clear audio we are going to use the same text that i used before so that you know we have uh, some base understanding obviously my uh, audio is going to like my my voice is complete crap but here let's see how it is going to generate um, with a british accent maybe i can use this to grow the channel it's running on zero which is like a shared gpu that hugging face offers for a pro subscribers and uh, it is not taking a lot of time which is good to be honest and the model's license also comes with a restricted open license i would say it's open source open weight but uh, you can use it for commercial purpose if your uh, annual users were uh, less than 100000 So that's something you have to keep We in mind. We are open sourcing Higgs Audio V2, a powerful audio foundation model that will be on over 10 million hours of audio data and a diverse set of text data. Despite having no post training or fine tuning, Higgs Audio V2 excels in expressive audio generation. I I don't know why for some reason it almost feels like it still um is using my voice that I had. Uh, okay, that's very interesting. I just refresh the page and then I'm pressing I'm starting this again the audio we generation are, is we are open sourcing Higgs Audio V2 a powerful audio foundation model one live bar on over 10 million hours of audio data and a diverse set of text data despite having no post training or fine tuning Higgs Audio V2 excels in expressive audio generation thanks to its deep language and acoustic understanding there are other modes in which you can try but in my opinion i think the voice quality and the way it delivers the uh, the authenticity the emotion within the voice is really good and uh, i would strongly encourage you to go try out the model then i might actually put out a separate tutorial where how you can run the model separately more for technical users but for now if you want a high quality tts uh, an emotive tts and a tts uh, which you can also use it as voice cloning i would strongly encourage you to go try higgs which is a model from a company called boson ai let me know what you think about the voice cloning and also the tts experience seen on the video happy prompting